Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Ben and Jerry's just infuriated every red-blooded American with their nasty new ice cream campaign. Why do businesses all of a sudden feel the need to get political? From Nike with that has been Colin Kaepernick to Target and their genderless restrooms, and now Ben and Jerry's. The founders of Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream, Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield have now teamed up with the extreme left-wing Soros-funded communist group MoveOn.org in order to help Democrats stage a coup this coming midterm. IJR Red is now reporting that in an announcement on the social media platform Twitter, Ben and Jerry said people need to vote for progressive congressional candidates in order to resist President Donald Trump. What they really mean is to impeach the president for the crime of beating Hillary Clinton. The elderly communist duo released a statement where they say we need a Democratic majority to check President Trump's unrestrained power. And we also need to send progressive champions to Congress who will fix our health care system with Medicare for all, protect clean air and water, and get big money out of politics. So basically what they really want is a communism, unlike the style they have in China. Because the left really has nothing to offer voters instead of undoing the great economic accomplishments President Trump's policies have brought, they are actively trying to encourage voting and participation by making new ice cream flavors and, along with flavor names which are to be based on the candidates' campaigns. Of course they preach socialism, but then it comes to their bottom line it's a totally different story as reported by the Goldwater. Everyone in America appreciates a delicious scoop of ice cream. However do the corporate behemoths appreciate the hard work that goes into their profit margins? Workers at Ben & Jerry's don't seem to believe the company values their efforts. That's why scores of employees organized and marched today on the liberal ice cream giant's unfair policies towards their staff. They simply want to earn a living wage and be offered the benefits and protections any hard-working American would ask for. Ben & Jerry's is a notoriously liberal company that has spoke out against President Trump and the right wing on several occasions. Regarding President Trump's immigration policies they stated, in light of the Trump administration's second crack at an executive order limiting immigrants and refugees from predominantly Muslim countries, we wanted to reiterate Ben and Jerry's strong opposition to this assault on America's commitment to fairness, the rule of law, and religious liberty. At Ben and Jerry's we understand this policy is not only bad for our nation, it's bad for business. So why is this business treating its employees so poorly then? Victor Diaz a strong Trump supporter and employee of Ben & Jerry said we can't wait anymore. We are going to pressure them and see what happens, Victor is a legal immigrant who works on farm in Virgins. One of the Ben & Jerry's spokesmen, Sean Greenwood, said before Saturday's march from the State House to the Waterbury factory that the company was eager to reach an agreement and negotiations were underway. We are a values-led business. We frame ourselves as an aspiring social justice company, said Greenwood. We try to do good with everything we can with our business. Dairy has definitely been one of those issues we have done a ton of work on for decades," Greenwood said. Employees however claim Ben & Jerry's had agreed over two years ago to participate in the so-called Milk with Dignity program, but the company and worker representatives have yet to reach an agreement due to delays from the corporate side. The program titled the Milk with Dignity program was developed in 2014 by farm workers and the Vermont group Migrant Justice to ensure that all farms provide employees fair wages and working conditions and decent housing. In 2015, Ben and Jerry's agreed to join the program. Since then, the two sides have been negotiating over the details. We've been negotiating in good faith, said Lamk. It's an unacceptable delay. Meanwhile workers continued to struggle. The march began early Saturday morning in Montpelier and ended mid-afternoon at the plant in Waterbury, about 14 miles away from the starting point. Organization leader Will Lamp said the marchers presented a letter to company CEO Eustein Solheim who said the company was committed to joining the program. This isn't the first time the devout liberal company has made headlines however. A pro-police group has called for a nationwide boycott against Ben & Jerry's after the ice cream company issued a statement last week announcing its enthusiastic support for the Black Lives Matter movement. They enjoy controversy and pandering to the left wing. When Ben & Jerry's was subject to a nationwide boycott by police they released a statement saying, We've come to understand that to be silent about the violence and threats to the lives and well-being of black people is to be complicit in that violence and those threats, the Ben & Jerry's statement read. All lives do matter. But all lives will not matter until black lives matter. Blue Lives Matter, a media company made up of active and retired law enforcement officers, accused the ice cream company of leading a dangerous campaign, stating Ben and Jerry's went beyond making a statement in support of civil rights when they actively accused law enforcement of widespread racism, 
the group said in a statement Monday. By spreading these false and misleading statements, Ben and Jerry's lends an appearance of legitimacy to the baseless claims that police officers are killing men based on the color of their skin. This message has inspired the assassination and attempted assassination of police officers, and it costs officers their lives. Blue Lives Matter went on to suggest that by not only attacking law enforcement, but openly supporting Black Lives Matter, Ben and Jerry's is sure to anger most Americans who do not agree with the political causes that they are supporting, they wrote. Blue Lives Matter is calling on all Americans to boycott all Ben and Jerry's products and send a message that we do not agree with Black Lives Matter or their goals. Please get the word out about the importance of this boycott. One thing is certain, Ben and Jerry's places profits first and does very little to care about the well-being of the working man. Since the left or this has been duo have nothing to offer they are begging people for help in creating and naming seven ice cream flavors that capture the essence of what each candidate stands for. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.